I always wanted to know why and how things worked. What else are the roots doing in the soil? I think that's part of engineering too, is you try to understand how things work, and that's how I grew up with like, I want to know how these remote control cars, inside it, what's going on, how, how is it working? That's kind of what I do in my job, was like, we're, we're designing something, we create it, and then we test it, and we see it work on the machines. Math. What about math do you like? I think the way all the numbers go through my head, and it's like I think about think about it, sometimes it's just automatic for me. You use everything, your talking, your hands, your feet, spatial ability and orientation. Growing up and being an engineer and a drafter, I always had that spatial ability. It makes them do turns and stuff. Makes them turn? Turn. Which one of all the fires? What type of wind resistance are on a couple of these planes? It's going good. I've only got hit about four times, so we're doing good. Pick up their seed and just drop it right in the center of your soil. Okay, drop it right in the center, and then I want you to push that down with your finger just to your knuckle. Because kids learn when they're touching and holding things, and that knowledge that they get from their hands when they touch things and they hold things translate into more meaningful things in their head. See you moving around. Come here! Get on my finger! <laughs> so how do you think plant diversity is related to um, like animal or insect diversity? What was your favorite part of it? Taking the bugs out. <laughs> I think it's really exciting for them to make connections. What do you like about science? I just like how I can learn about like all the world around me and everything. How everything works and everything. This is essentially a blow up of one of those proteins and I'm a peptide chemist or a biochemist. What I'm doing is different chemistries with um, amino acids on the outside surface. Shows you where all your valves are. Everybody says, well, why engineering? Sure. I picked the shortest time in school with the highest expected salary and demand, and I prayed. I prayed I would like it. System. Study mechanical engineering. I just really liked the thought of it when I was in middle school. I thought it would be cool to build stuff to make a difference. Sometimes it's okay to eat a little bit of something that you don't really like if it's really good for you, okay? If it's medicine for your body and for your heart. You know what? Your grandmas and grandpas, your great grandmas and grandpas, they ate those a lot. Watch me, watch. For some of them, they love to hear that they can eat a plant. They're like, oh my God. I can eat that thing on the ground, you know, and it really captures their imagination. Or I'll say, you know, that my kid had this really bad burn and I put some of this plant on there and they're like, oh my God, that weed, that thing that's growing there, that's medicine, you know? It's just, it's amazing how I see that change in their eyes. Yeah, it's always there for you. It grows all over the place and you can crush it up and put it on the burn. Walk back, walk back, pull. What color? What, what's toe? Blue. 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 Very good. And they say that because they think the leaf looks a little bit blue. You guys see that? It's also super fun to do this, this kind of walk, plant walk with them, and then to watch them afterwards because they'll start looking down now. You know, they start paying attention to what's around them. I love it. <laughs> so you're very lucky to get to taste these June berries right now. I never knew that my grandmother was a scientist. She knew all the plant names. She knew how to use them. She could even tell me like ecology about those plants. She could tell me habitats about where they would grow, the kind of soil that they needed to grow. She could tell me two plants that would often be found together. She knew all of that, even though she had never gone to school a day in her life. She never had the opportunity to go to school. But she could tell me all of that because she was a scientist, you know? And it wasn't until I was an adult um, and, and in college that I realized, oh my gosh, my grandma was a scientist, you know? And it changed the way I looked at myself. Like, once I found that out, once I found out that I'm descended from scientists, it changed the way that I looked at myself and the way that I thought about my culture.